Hello, I've been challenged by my little brother to see who can take over the world as Italy in the least amount of term turn. So I think I can win as Italy. Hey bro, how you doing? Guys. There, there he is. And so I think I can beat him. I mean who knows, but um Let's get started. But I um I want to take this island for sure. Definitely want to take this island. Are you doing well, I want to take these islands for sure. Um, but we also can help with the Nazi advance on the French. But I think we need to put a lot, most of our efforts into taking this, um, island. But I also, and I like to use field artillery, so we'll put them in position. But, yeah, so, we'll get all of that ready. Uh, Egypt and Greece... Oh, uh, we actually do have a good bit of enemies down in the Balkans. Hopefully, the people in Hungary and the people in Romania can help take them out. Hopefully, they can protect the flank with a little bit, if we offer up a little bit of naval support here. Um, oh, they, oh yeah, because most of that's going to be yeah, French and British. True, because a lot of that's going to be French and British. I didn't even look down there. That was a mistake I definitely made. The Spanish are Oh, they are? Well, yeah, and they probably only control like a little tiny bit down there. Holy crap, yeah, we're going to get probably crushed in Africa. We just should maybe try to just hold what we got. And like, not try to make any major offensives down here. Just kind of... Like, put, oh man, this is a tough decision. Just put some bunkers around here. Just pretty heavily defend what we have already. So we just need to take these guys out with some heavy artillery. Taking that, so that's the first objective uh, I really wanted to do. Take out these guys a bit. Um... Definitely the French Navy here can go to for a little bit of weakening. If we actually remove them from that island, that will put us in pretty good position to take that island, offering us some more oil and taking it away from the French. Um, yeah, just put that there. They're pretty defensive troops, more or less. It's more or less more defensive. Uh, we do have this here. Can this deploy paratroopers? Yeah, we can deploy paratroopers. Well, sorry. Whoa. Sorry for one second. Sorry, the dog in the background really, um... Sorry, the dog is all stirred up here. But, you know, um... We'll just ignore that and hopefully... Hopefully that'll go away here. But we do take down that naval fort. And so, let's see here. Hmm. The bad thing is England also play out. Yeah, we well, could we maybe... Have, we do have Japan right here. I'm thinking one of our next major goals... Well, we We can go through the Alps. If we take Linen down here in France. And then also take Algiers. But, you know, we're going to have to maybe move up from Tripoli to do that. Um, more or less, I'm taking what I want to do on this turn. Since we have to be careful because we shouldn't rush because it's not about time. 
which we might eventually do something with time. It's all about um, turns. So, you know, if we can do it in less turns, we win. And if you, but you don't want to be too rushed because if you lose, obviously you can't win if you lose. Um, so, yeah, we got to be careful in that sense. Uh, remove these guys. Oh, the the French have parachuted some troops down into our lands. Well, I'm thinking here maybe put some Belgian field artilleries. Move these guys in position, take them out. Good and Rome. Hmm, should we just save them the rest of the time? Let's build rocket artilleries. Um. Battalion artilleries, let's land them over here. Everything's looking. Oh man, the Egyptians have also parachuted in, I think. Got to be really careful here, and they've taken this oil. Um, yeah, we got to be a little bit careful here. Let's move these guys up into a more defensive position. Got to be really careful. Yeah, 